Pumpkin pie is always a staple at Thanksgiving for everybody. But there's one thing I wanted to show you today that might make you change your tune a little bit and might make you want to grow it out in the garden a little bit more. I'm talking about sweet potatoes. And I promise you, after today, this is something you're going to want to grow in your garden. Sweet potato pie, let's do it. First, you're going to start off with three sweet potatoes, medium size, and what you're going to do is drizzle a little bit of olive oil on all three of those and get them wrapped up in a little bit of tin foil. After that, we're going to take them over to the oven. What the olive oil does is it kind of helps loosen up that skin. So once you get that over to the oven, you're going to want to bake that for at least an hour at 350 degrees. Now, the way you can tell if they're done is poke a fork in them, see if it goes all the way through. Once you got all that, what you're going to do is take a little knife down there. That also can tell you if it is fully cooked all the way through. And you're just going to peel all those lovely skins off. Uh, it was awesome what I did with this, is I actually put the skins out to the chickens and they devoured them. Yet another good use for chickens, FYI folks especially the ones on the fence about getting them. So once you get that all peeled, what you're going to do is you're going to put that into a blender. All right, so we got all three of them in there. What you're going to do is add a half a stick of butter. I did unsalted, so I added a teaspoon of salt in there. You do want to have a little bit of salt. It kind of counterbalances that sweetness. And from there, you're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon, heaping tablespoon, of pumpkin pie spice. Now, where I get mine is at Trader Joe's, but uh, go wherever you want. Then you're going to do two eggs. Make sure you don't have a shell in there. We don't want that. And from there, we're going to do our secret ingredient. One cup. Are you ready for this? eggnog. Put that eggnog in there, one cup. You're going to blend that all up together. And what you should have is a nice little paste consistency. If it's not, you want it just a little bit runny, but if it's not, add just a little bit of milk into it. From there, then I add in one cup of sugar. Now, I'm just using white sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want, but for me, I think the white sugar just uh, does enough for it. Um, you don't want to overpower the sweetness on it either. The eggnog will definitely do that for you. Nice and creamy. And then from there, what we're going to do is go ahead and pour that into your pie shell. And this is pretty much the consistency that you want. Go ahead and shake that, doing its best chubby checker impression. And the last step that I do before I put it in the oven is I sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon on there. So pop that in the oven at 350 for one hour and check that it's uh, cooked in the center. And here's what you're going to come out with. So I hope this is something you guys will seriously consider trying at some point and possibly growing some sweet potatoes in your garden come springtime because they are addictive. They're healthy for you. They're great. And obviously they're good in pie too. So for all of us here at Fleetwood Patch, happy Thanksgiving, guys.